Good morning. Um, well, that's a complete lie. It ain't morning, but it is Monday. Um, I put my first vlog live last night and I got loads of really nice responses, which I'm so happy about. Thank you for watching. Um, I was actually extremely self-conscious releasing this fucking vlogs because I'm like, should I even be vlogging? Um, but you know what? You guys seem to like it. I'm just trying to, what I'm trying to concentrate on now with my podcast and with YouTube is just creating content that I like to consume and that I like to make. And I love a good 20 plus minute vlog, especially like a weekly vlog. I just love it. They're kind of very soothing and I liked making it as well. So we're going to keep going. Um, I'm just getting ready because it is Monday. I bailed on training today because I had so much work to do, to be honest. And I, oh yeah, I got my period last night, yesterday. Oh my God. And it like fucking fucked me up, man. Oh my God, actually, Evan and I had a few drinks on Saturday night. We went out for like some food, but like the only place I had like that had a seat was just like a wine bar. And we just had like a charcuterie board and wine. And then we went to the pub for like two drinks and came home and actually drank, then split that fucking bottle of champagne that I bought the other night. And my hangover, what the fuck? Like I cannot drink anymore. Like. I, don't get me wrong, I still drink, but like I'll have like, let's say Friday night I had like one glass of that wine, fell asleep, um, oh my god, my hangover, oh, yesterday it was like nothing, it, oh, oh my god, I was in ribbons, um, and then I went to my parents' house, we have a lot of bruising by the way still on my lip, but it's all G, um, it didn't get too much worse, but it is still there, so I need to put some makeup on, otherwise my therapist is probably gonna be like, is I been beating you? <laughs> it does look like I took a dig, honestly. Um, but yeah, my hangover yesterday was like atrocious, like probably one of the worst hangovers I've had in years, especially for like not doing that much. Like I wasn't out all night. Um, I drank like more than I usually would, but like, to be honest, it's probably just cause I mixed drinks. But we move, um, I thought I had a two day hangover, but we're actually all right. I'm feeling a bit better. I just, I think I was just really uh, dehydrated. I don't know if you can see, I've obviously put makeup on now, but I don't know if you can see, there's just a little shadow there, but my lip has gone down a lot and we have decided that yes, I will be fucking refilling that, um, that lip. Um, but I'm gonna get ready now and then we're gonna go into town. Um, that was actually, it was actually good. I had like a good session today. It wasn't like as emotionally traumatic as last week. <sighs> Just kind of like wrapping up some stuff we spoke about last week. Um, and a few pointers. And then I think in like a week or two, I'm gonna have like a review with him because I've just done six sessions now. I think he said by eight, we're gonna do a review. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get it for awful again because fucking Louis Fluffle has me in a chokehold if I'm completely honest. Are you guys getting deja vu yet? Yes, my life is kind of Groundhog day but it wouldn't have been either way. By far one of the biggest struggles I have with going to therapy on Mondays in town is uh, not buying myself something every single week. <laughs> I'm trying to not like make that a part of my reward system like going shopping and buying like knee jumpers or whatever 
Um, so yeah, it's especially hard because like I got to pay myself for the first time today um, and I have not had any ingoings in my bank account since I think it was June. So very hard not to like try to treat myself, but to be honest, I've treated myself a lot. Cannot find my fucking leap card anywhere, so I'm left doing this. Like, feels truly Jurassic. 3.30 the price now, girls, Jesus Christ. coffee Pogue is closed which I'm usually quite loyal to Pogue and get my coffees there but um they close at three which is really fucking random to be honest but uh, I'm gonna go get a coffee now hopefully for this hatch it's open to be honest that's probably just a sign I should stop drinking coffee at like half four Stop there, you're gonna break your legs. Back at my desk, um, I'm home, I'm fed. I just wanna put something out there. I'm fully aware that my lips are really asymmetrical. I don't wanna hear you guys slagging me, okay? I'm in the in-between phase. <laughs> Sometimes with like procedures, especially with correction, and this is why I think a lot of people don't do correction and why I didn't do correction for ages, is because you kind of dread the phase where you're like, because like you have to get this dissolved, right? And then wait two weeks. Those two weeks, you're going to be kind of fugly. I'm working away here and I, oh yeah, I got such exciting news. Um, I secured a really great interview. So this week on the pod, I'm talking about incels. Um, and without going into too much detail, because I'm, I'm obviously going to save it for the pod. My pod is Red Room Podcast, obviously, exclusively on Patreon. Um, I went into this topic with a completely different perspective. Like, I've just, my mind has been opened almost to a community that I never knew existed. And I felt like so much empathy for a group of people that I, I didn't think. And I've also learned oh just really crazy stuff but anyway a lot of how I learned this is through a podcast called Incel I it was a huge part of my research and it's hosted by this woman called Nama Cates and she's incredible she's an investigative journalist she has like 60 episodes all about the incel community and I have secured an interview with her so I'm so excited so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my own episode on incels and what I've learned and then I'm going to do a bonus episode like a part two and it's going to be my interview with Nama and I think that is just going to be the best way for me to kind of talk about some of the stuff that I've learned about the incel community through her. And she's someone who is like, she has done so much research on incels over the past like two years around. Um, so what better person to get on? So I'm really excited for that. If you think I'm on my way down to get tacos, you'd be correct. He won't even walk on the same side of the road as me. Cells. It's a really good look at something that has existed forever, which is loneliness. But how the internet has kind of facilitated multiple lonely people connecting together. Um, obviously, loneliness has always existed, but I do think that social media and um, and dating apps maybe exacerbate this 
or exacerbate the feelings of loneliness. Um, and you know, there are studies out there saying that people are having the least amount of sex they've ever had. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. I'm really excited to talk to Nama about it because, um, as I said, my episode is going to give a brief outline and then we're going to talk about two um, more criminal cases that are linked to it. And then with Nama, I'm going to really dive into the psychology and her research because she's just way well... There's just so much to cover in this topic that like I wanted to get an expert on. And I'm fucking so excited to talk to her because like I'm fangirling over her because her podcast is so good. Her podcast is just called Incel. This is where the magic happens and away we go. Hello and welcome back to The Red Room. You're here with me, Jenny. Look what I got. Okay, my metrics. Whoa, that's actually so cool. I don't know if they That looks great. Uh, no. It's actually like Can redder. Yeah. I'll you tap put on the, it. I'm putting the, yeah, there you go. Oh shit, that looks class. Nice and heavy. So cool. Okay, I'm done work, enough for the day. Still have a lot of editing to do, if I'm honest. Those solo podcasts actually take quite a long time to edit um, because I just want to make sure there's not loads of like, uh, uh, in them, you know, that way. And I kind of take my time with them. So I've probably got about 20 more minutes of editing left to do. I'm on my way to boxing now. Oh, to be honest, I'm fucking knackered. I couldn't be arsed. Like, honestly, it really couldn't be arsed. But uh, I didn't get to train yesterday. I don't know if I'll train tomorrow. Actually, I won't train tomorrow because I've got something on all day, which you guys will be coming with me. Um, and I'll probably get Friday in, but like I like to get around three sessions in a week. So, gotta get my arse over to the gym now, do some boxing, and then come home, eat dinner. Didn't get straight what I cooked today. A lot of people liked my recipes last week, but um, I didn't get a chance today, but I'll show you some recipes during the week. I'll try to do one a week anyway, because um, it actually just takes so much longer to show how to cook it when you're cooking it. Anyway, boxing now, editing later, and then hoping to finish the day off with a bath. Hours later, my podcast, this nail, is getting fixed tomorrow, by the way. The podcast is getting exported. I need to start giving my brother my solo pods because they definitely just have way more editing in them i always because i try and edit out all the like i think i said it earlier on but i think i tr I really try and edit all the like um uh, uh, and i pause a lot because i'm trying to like make sure that what i say is not just drivel but i literally started editing that at three and it's half nine now i've eaten dinner and i've gone boxing but you get the gist it's much longer editing now i only have to do it about twice a month but like because the ed the guest episodes are always easier to edit but anyway i'm gonna go draw a bath now i'm so excited for it. <laughs> Tired. Anyway, I'm on my way to get my nails done because they are in ribbons, aka okay. losing one nail. I have this weird obsession with insomnia coffee. I don't know what it is, it's like it kind of reminds me of like bodega coffee in New York, like semi weak, very satisfying or something. Anyway, get my nails done, and then today, very exciting, I've got like my first like influencer job in a while in a long time and um, me and ever going to taste the dublin so i'll bring you along to that but for now it's now appointment time get my nails in so cute little cherries i love my hands are so pale though i forgot to tan them <laughs> i did my tan last week
of the day, Malahide of the day, me and Elle. Where is she? Going to get a coffee. And yes, I will be getting two today. <laughs> I feel so full from Taser Dublin. Um, this is the life of being like a true introvert. I will do one event like that where I see so many people that I haven't seen in so long and had honestly just go crack, but now I want to hibernate for like a year, swear to God. I have to go to an event tonight. Loving that for myself. Um, and I have loads of work to do today and my wisdom tooth is giving me such grief. I truly thought that I was having like a really bad hangover the other day, but I think it was just my wisdom tooth giving me like an ungodly migraine. I'm not feeling very well. I can't lie, so I got an antigen test. Put the mind at ease. Let's see how this works. Honestly, it looks complicated. <laughs> Rotate it. Okay, we're negative. Oh, so yesterday was fucking chaotic. I took my COVID test. I felt really sick yesterday. I took a COVID test, um, just to see, obviously. It came back negative, but I was fucked like fucked I was in bed all day I couldn't like I did have that brain fog thing and stuff like that but um my symptoms didn't get any worse I had a bath but I was like completely out for the count yesterday I think um when I remember I, t I think I said at the start of this vlog that on Sunday I felt like I was like oh my god my hangover is so bad I think I was starting to come down with something then if I'm honest <laughs> and didn't realize it and then probably being out on Wednesday exacerbated that so I was quite sick towards the end of this week I have another COVID test cooking over there just double checking um but as I said like I mean I'm double vaxxed and yeah I just I don't think I have COVID but just to be sure anyway today is a stunning day although it's getting a little bit cloudy now so annoying um and once I come back negative in the next 10 minutes I'm gonna go out for a while take a walk with Elle um she shit in the carpet last night love that why did you do that, Al? Oh, actually, I'm gonna show you my jeans. So, I was catfished by, um, like, a fast fashion company. Catfished so bad, they're getting good, guys. These, I, I got, kept getting this ad on Instagram and um, for these pants, and I was like, they're so cute. And um, I went on the page, the website, and um, they, it was all saying, like, oh, like, we're, we only make, like, we make per order and like, which is more sustainable. And I was like, I knew by the price, I was like, it's not a sustainable brand or whatever. Again, I don't go out of my way to buy sustainable, so don't hold me to that standard. Then like when I, you know, when you put your PayPal order in, it came up like, you've put your order in too. And it was some like Chinese name. And I was like, uh, fuck. Are these so cute? So I got them in a medium, probably could have got the small, just feeling the back of the waist is always a little bit big on me. Um, but the small said it was like a 27 waist, which I have, but I never want to risk it. And also my hips and my horse is quite big. So these actually are really comfy. Did you shit on the carpet? <laughs> oh, you're such a cute girl. So we have a problem. I went to get a coffee before I came to the park. And I ordered an Americana with oat milk and I said cold oat milk and she gave it like I was going crazy. Oh this is like part of my problem with no hands free. Anyway, she made the coffee with like hot oat milk. And like I saw it come out hot. Like, do you complain in those situations? Because I never do. I was like, uh like she would have had to make the whole thing and the only time I ever complain is if they put real milk in it because I literally can't drink it. But this is so hot and it has barely any milk and like I like them to make the, the Americano and then I fill it up with milk But this you know when they make the hot milk, it's just foam on top. I'm just like oh, How many more things can go wrong? But do you would you complain in that situation because I wouldn't I didn't and I wouldn't like I take it and I'm like Okay, thank you. Um, but I was just listening to Adam's podcast and I'm like Like genuinely laughing to myself and it's so pathetic like he keeps calling this kid a book to his car <laughs> Me.
since last week a lot of you liked my cooking and stuff um i'm gonna do another recipe as i'm feeling a little under the weather i'm gonna make chicken noodle soup one of my favorite things ever to eat really easy to cook um and i'm gonna show you how i make it i've just kind of made up the recipe what my mom used to always make my mom still does make like a bomb chicken soup um but she makes her own stock and all that i don't have like a carcass to be boiling for a few hours however i've sent evan out on a little excursion to buy groceries and yeah i'm gonna cook it in. okay so chicken noodle soup you're gonna need chicken thighs carrots celery garlic thyme lemon noodles i use vermicelli noodles or rice noodles i already said chicken stock i think i did and then those spices so i'm gonna put like a good log of olive oil in the pan before adding spices. I'm gonna toast the spices first because that just kind of gets a bit better flavor. So some, this is smoked paprika and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of uh, cayenne pepper, which is obviously hot, but it can just have a little bit of heat. Then I have some mild chili powder, which is nice for flavor. A little bit of turmeric. Then I have this aromat, which is just like an all purpose seasoning, but it's nice for soups, gives it a nice base. So I have that on like medium high heat and then I'm just gonna, t you're gonna toast all of these uh, together. And I'm gonna add about three or four carrots, chopped up and really finely diced up celery. These have been cooking away a few minutes, they've kind of like sweat off a little bit. And now I'm gonna add 500 ml of this um, chicken stock, which is nice chicken stock that we got in Kerrigan's. But like one of these will also see, so I'm probably gonna put one of these in with some water as well. Okay, so I've added the stock and I've also added um, one of those little Norse stock pots and some water. And I'm gonna turn this up and bring this to a simmer. And then I'm gonna add chicken. Oh, I also added um, some meat. Time, just like a stalk of time. Okay, that's starting to simmer now. So I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit because I don't want to boil. Oh, I should mention I use um, chicken thighs for this, but you can use breast, but thighs are a bit better. They um, shred easier. You wanna make sure that they are boned and skinned, boneless and uh, no skin on them as well. All my chicken is in there currently and I'm gonna like, let that simmer for a while and then I'm going to turn the heat all the way down and let it cook with the top on on the stove for about an hour or so, really slowly. So this has been cooking for about an hour 15. I'm going to bring it up to the simmer for the last um, 10 minutes or so and then I'm going to cook the noodles separately in hot water and then you add the noodles at the end. Wine we're having Ev, what is it? Organic. Organic? Bio dynamic wine. Organic and biodynamic Montepulciano. Okay, taste test out. This is the real test. Will it Evan like it? Just taste the soup or do it taste the whole Whatever thing? you want. Might be hot though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to say that when the camera's on you. Yeah.